Hello everybody and welcome to the first video in our React Native playlist. Um, React Native is a JavaScript framework that allows you to um, build mobile applications uh, across platforms. So you build it in JavaScript and then uh, you run it through the compiler and it will generate it in Android, iOS, all those uh, platforms. Um, so today in this video we'll be installing all the necessary components necessary to run an app on your computer. Um, so the first thing we'll be installing is Node because uh, that's how you how we um, actually run the React Native because Node.js is a server-side um, JavaScript framework and we need that in order to actually run the React Native code. Um, and then after that I will be downloading Android Studio um, because uh, we'll need an emulator, but the emulator is actually optional because if you have an Android phone, um, you can connect it to a computer to your computer, um, and you'll be able to run it through there. Um, actually, if you have an, a Mac, you can connect your iOS phone, but you cannot connect an iOS phone to a Windows computer, and it ha and it it can't work like that. Um, so I'll be downloading an emulator um, because. For me, I have an Android, but I can't screencast that to my computer, so during tutorials, I will just be downloading the emulator so I can just show it the updates through there, and that'll be all good. Um, so the first thing we'll be installing is Node.js. So we're gonna be using the Expo CLI Quick Start um, just because we're gonna be building a pretty basic application. If we wanted to uh, tap into some native components, we could use the React Native CLI Quick Start, but that would that would require a lot more. Um, so yeah, we'll just stick to this for now. Uh, so go to this link here. It's going to be in the description uh, for Windows. Uh, just download the Windows installer, just like that. Um, and then go to your Downloads folder. Double click it. Um, go, let's go through all this quickly. Next. Next. Make sure all this stuff is checked. Next. Um, the tools for native modules is optional. I'm not going to use it. It's not necessary for me, but if you want to do more research into it, go for it. Um, and then just click install. Click yes there, and this should not take too long, I don't think. All right, so once Node.js has finished installing, uh, you click finish, and then we're gonna open up a command line just to verify that it's been installed. Um, so on Windows, um, how do you do it? There we go. Uh, on Windows, I'm just gonna type in node dash v uh, that's good or that's good right there and npm dash v this will actually be the uh, module that we will use to install uh, the other packages and plugins um, so that's all good if you get those that is a good sign um, and this works because that installer added it to the path of your computer uh, so we can x out of that for now and then if you do not want to use an emulator so if you just want to connect your phone physically uh, just skip ahead to the end of this or toward the end of this video. I'll put a timestamp when I just test the app just to make sure everything's working. Um, but if you want to use an emulator, um, I'm going to go through downloading an Android emulator right now. So uh, next we go to this link, uh, which is just the Android Studio page, um, and click download. And this will take a bit, um, so I'll see you when it's finished. All right, so once Android Studio has finished installing, just go to the installer, double click it, um, and we'll run through this quickly if it'll work. And it's working right now. Click yes. Um, go ahead and click next. Make sure that Android Virtual Devices is checked off because that's, what, that's where the emulators actually run. So next, that's fine, next, next. And we will let this install, um, and I'll see you when this is done. All right, so once it is completed, click Next here, um, and then you want to click Finish and Start Android Studio. Um, so if you have uh, settings, you can do that. I'm not going to import any. Um, let this run, let it start. Um, this we're just going to run through this wizard as well. Click next. 
uh, be standard for now. I'm going to use the dark theme. And this is all the components that the S that the emulator will require. So the emulator uh, and then the Android SDK tools and all that good stuff there. Click finish and this will take a while. So I will see you when that is finished. All right, so once Android Studio has installed and it says Android SDK is up to date, click finish. Um, and we're gonna go to configure. So you should be on this menu, just click configure and then AVD manager. So we're gonna actually install our device now. So go ahead and create a virtual device. Um, you can click whatever phone you want. Um, let me see if I can find my phone. I don't guess I can. Um, all right, so I'll just use the Pixel 2. It uh, doesn't really matter what you use. Um, you can use 29, that's fine. Um, so just go ahead and download that. Uh, yeah. Click Accept, Next. And this is a one gigabyte download, so this will actually take a little bit to do. All right, so once you get this sign, or this screen here, uh, click Finish. Um, so now you see that this release has been installed. So highlight it, click Next, um, and just name it that, that's fine. Click Finish, and now you see that you have this virtual device installed. All right, so once you get this, go ahead and minimize the main window. Drag this window over here, the AVD Manager. Now we're gonna actually go ahead and install the packages. So go ahead and open up your command line again, um, and we're gonna actually install the package. So in the command line, go ahead and type in that command right there that's in the browser. So npm install dash g expo dash cli. And this will take a while as well, like all the other downloads. So I'll see you once this is finished downloading. All right, so once you get all this, this big mess of download log, all this deprecated stuff, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Okay, so once we've installed Expo, um, we're ready to create the actual application now. So we're gonna go ahead into our um, command line, and we're just gonna copy this command here. So I'm gonna go into my documents, CD documents, like that. And I'm going to go ahead and type expo init awesome project. Might not be too awesome, but you never know. All right. Um, so I'm just going to hit enter for blank um, and then type the name. So awesome uh -oh, project test. Hit enter. We'll let all of this finish downloading. And in the meantime, we can actually start our uh, emulator. So um, if you do have the emulator installed, just go ahead and click play here and that will launch. Um, and if you are, if you have a physical device, just go ahead and connect that now um, because we will be running that in two seconds. All right, so we have this here. Um, so let's go into the directory. So CD OS, uh -oh awesome project and then npm start like that all right so it's going to go ahead and start uh this is good or no it's not um okay uh so there is a invalid regular expression in what file okay so apparently there's an error and I knew this was going to happen because I had tested this before and it has something to do with an invalid invalid um, expression in a build file which is weird. So I looked on Stack Overflow as you do and I found this response. I will be linking this. Um, thank you to Keyshawn Gujar Gujarati. I definitely asked that name but um, so the way this uh, person says to fix it is go into your project directory. So I'm in documents, 
not that documents, documents, awesome project. And then go into node modules. So in the folder node underscore modules, scroll all the way down to metro dash config. So in the M's right here, metro dash config, go into the source SRC file, defaults, and then the blacklist.js file. So click edit. And the problem that arose was that uh, these are invalid escape characters or invalid characters. So the way we have to deal with this is in the only in the first line. So in this declaration of shared blacklist in the first line, uh, in the square brackets, add a backslash in front of every forward slash only in the square brackets. So there's one here, there's one here, and then the last one is right here. So a total of three. So click our uh, control S for save or right click and save and then exit out of that. Now we can go back to here um, uh, and look back at our emulator. So I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm just going to go ahead and npm start again. Okay, so this is fine. This is your web terminal. It's pretty cool. Um, so successfully, successfully ran, yada yada yada. Um, and then once you get to this, um, so now, this is where it differs between the physical phone and the emulator. So if you're on the emulator, you're going to go ahead and press A for now. And if you have a physical phone, you have to download the Expo app on Android right here, or the camera app on iOS. And once you do that, you just scan this QR code or the QR code in the web terminal, and it will automatically run it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and press A since I'm running it on the emulator. So A, like that, trying to open the project. So on the emulator, it's going to install Expo on the device. Um, and it's opening it. So please enable permit drawing over other apps. So on Android, just go ahead with these um, settings. It might be different on uh, iOS, but it should be relatively the same. Just follow whatever instructions you get on the screen. So toggle this to on like that and then press the back button and now it's going to start building the javascript bundle um, if it doesn't show up automatically like if it goes back to the home screen i can just press a again um, just to launch the app again um, but you should end up with a finished building javascript bundle in uh, whatever amount of milliseconds um, so it's running the application and this is actually the application um, so yeah that is essentially it uh, that's the whole installation process um, on Friday like I said I'm going to be going through the uh, some of the basics here so I'll be learning that alongside you guys and after that I'll actually be well, I'll be creating an application using this on video if you guys for those who prefer more experimental based uh, learning um, which I would consider myself one of those people, but regardless, uh, it'd be a pretty cool experiment to see how this uh, turns out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any errors, um, usually GitHub's your friend, or not GitHub, usually Stack Overflow is your friend. There's a lot of documentation on this stuff. Um, so yeah, utilize that. And yeah, I will see you guys on Friday.